all right what's going on you fam were you didn't hear so we got the reveals and stuff part two everyone's really excited to see what's going to be coming here so we're going to go ahead and quickly just skim through everything we've seen thus far i just want to go quickly through it i don't want to spend too too much time hopefully it serves as a good summary for everybody here so the first thing that they announced was that we're going to be getting a new ultra vegeta a free one the one that did the dirty fireworks so that's really damn cool i didn't think we'd be seeing another uh free ultra this early but it looks like we are going to be getting one so hopefully everyone's rare metals are saved up so we're going to quickly just skim right to the preview because man does it look absolutely fire hopefully it's not too loud let me just go over here So first glance, the first thing that came to my mind was it looks like they reused the uh, Strike Clash animation, but not only that, it looks like his ultimate does not have a blast armor. So there's a reused animation there, but his ult doesn't have blast armor, which is uh, <laughs> that's the first criticism everybody had of Ultra Goku. So I guess once again, we can sort of tell like, hey, you know, free character, not gonna have blast armor, you know, held back on certain fronts, but I'm not complaining because they graciously showed us his kit, which is absolutely awesome. And I think his kit is looking really damn impressive. So it looks like Vegeta's purple, a ranged unit as well, shortens own substitution count by two by default and plus 50% to damage inflicted when this character enters the battlefield. So it looks like Vegeta will always have an eight timer count um, uh, uh, requirement when he swapped out. Only eight timer counts, that's really damn good. I like that a lot. Not only that, but it also looks like he has a strike cover change. So for a reduced sub count with a strike cover change, that's pretty awesome. Uh, I guess you could run him alongside the Ultra Goku and now he got a strike and a blast cover change unit. We also got reduces damage received by 40%, cannot be stacked, so 40% reduced damage received. That's quite a bit. And he has a nice little support passive, plus 20% to damage inflicted by allied episode freeze the saga characters, 15 timer counts, that's pretty nice. Kind of reminds me of LF Future Gohan, has this whole little, we get to do a little bit of everything character. Now, in terms of some of his passives, inflicts all enemies with the attribute downgrade plus 10% to damage received for 15 timer counts every time Vegeta uses a strike or a blast card. So note that it's just uses the card. It's not lands the card. So just throwing out cards out there will apply a pretty substantial debuff to everyone on the opponent's team. That's everybody. So that's a really nice little debuff to have. Now, while this character's on the battlefield, reduce enemy key by 30 every time the enemy uses a special arts card. That's pretty nice. Nice little crippling green card. Stop some combos. I know Zamasu, UI Goku, those characters right there are getting priority with their green card. It'd be nice to take away some of their uh, key there. Nice to shorten their little combos. And then on special arts activation. So when he uses a green card, he gets 30 key. One of the biggest criticisms we had with Ultra Goku is he didn't have too many means of actually manipulating key. Looks like Vegeta's green card sort of takes care of that. He gets 30 key and he gets card draw speed. It's only 10 timer counts, but you get card draw speed for one nice little combo, which is fantastic. And note right there, comboable arts, strike, blast, special arts, special move, ultimate arts, that tells us this is an AOE green card, just like Zamasu, just like UI Goku, and especially like UI Goku, because that's exactly how his works. Gain key, have some card draw speed. That's pretty damn cool, is it not? That's pretty nice. Now his Z ability is blast attack and defense for the Frieza Saga uh, characters or Saiyans. Isn't that cool? Nice little Z ability as well. And I think they also explained that kind of how Ultra Goku is going to be buffed up dependent on the number of Saiyans that you're fighting with, including the characters that are on your bench and who you bring onto the field. It seems like Vegeta is going to be characters that are from that episode, the Frieza Saga. So I don't remember off the top of my head how many of those characters that we have, but I would imagine that 
he, getting his full damage passives will be a little bit more challenging compared to Ultra Goku, um, just because it's a little bit more niche. But he does seem like a much better character. We will have to see when we get the full kit as well as his stats, but I think we can all agree a free Ultra is a big thumbs up. Thanks, Legends. That's pretty cool. Now, going past that, they also showed us that it's going to be this form of an event. And then similar to how Ultra Goku worked, you're going to be needing a EX Vegeta to partake in this event. You get 100 Z power for him. And then the remainder of the Z power will most likely come from reaching top 3k in PvP, finishing those daily uh, stages for the co-op. So you get, I think it was 20 Z power each time. And then surely there's going to be missions paired alongside it that will car, uh, cost a rare metal. So hopefully everybody saved up. I know I did because I had a feeling that another one was going to come anytime soon. So this is awesome. Now going past Vegeta, they hit us with a bombshell. So here's just that uh, the whole uh, hyperdimensional co-op event for getting some Z power. Um, they dropped a bombshell for us where not just chance time, chance time is awesome, get an opportunity to get some free CC, but they also showed us this character is getting a Zenkai Awakening. This is pretty cool. The I like this character, Dragon Fist, of course, Kid Goku, the helicopter spinning was also very, very awesome. So I'm sure he's going to be very strong. His stats are still looking pretty darn good. They're generous enough to provide us his kit. So let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. So he's going to be getting a new unique. You will get a buff dependent on how many Dragon Balls you have. So this character basically rendered Omega useless. <laughs> so if you have anywhere from 0 to 3, 20% to strike damage inflicted. If you have 4 to 6, now it's 30%. But if you have a Rising Rush ready, you have all 7 Dragon Balls, you get 40% to damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. So... That's pretty damn cool. Keep in mind that these buffs apply when you have them. So you will get this benefit if you were to decide to go for the Rising Rush. You get that 40% damage inflicted buff if you go for the Rush. You have 15 timer counts worth of that benefit. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but the most noteworthy thing about this character is this beautiful thing right here. A nice little passive against androids. AKA Android 18's worst nightmare. A red Zenkai Saiyan who has extra strike damage against androids. Looking pretty good. Every time this character uses a strike or a blast card, he will restore 2% of his health. I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, Zamasu heals 5%. This Goku only gets 2, but I'm going to assume it's because of Zenkai stats, and he's a Saiyan. That's a lot of sustainability. And you inflict the enemy with the attribute downgrade plus 10% to damage received for 10 timer counts. Keep in mind that this Goku is buffing up his ultimate every single time he... I believe lands a strike or a blast card. So the combination of your opponent taking extra damage with you buffing up your ultimate pretty much translates to a really damn strong ultimate card. That will be super exciting. Uh, and of course the Zenkai ability is red GT. Some people were thinking it was gonna be red Sun Family because he does have a Sun Family uh, Z ability buffer, but I'm glad that they preferred to stick to GT. Uh, super Saiyan 4 Vegeta gets to be a little bit stronger. That's always cool. Now moving on from this Goku, they're changing the theme song, which is nice. So all my fa uh, all my uh, fellow content creators, be sure to keep the background music off, otherwise you're gonna get hit with a nice little copyright strike. And then they drop a bombshell of a preview. Let's take a look. Oh, music.
Okay, can we take a second to acknowledge how good that OST was? Legends has this cool music for their previews, but let's hear it in game too, you know? That's part of the hype. Imagine new PvP music every time it resets. Wouldn't that be cool? So it looks like they're revisiting the BoJack Unbound movie once again. We get the whole Hera clan alongside a new Legends Limited Super Saiyan 2 Gohan with a revival mechanic. That is insane because the Hybrid Saiyan team is already terrifying. But alongside the other new units, they were kind enough to show us that we can see their kits, which is pretty cool. Now do keep in mind, they said that the step up comes in the future. So I don't think it's gonna be coming tonight at reset. I think it's gonna be maybe next week or the week after uh, because we should be seeing that Zenkai Kid Goku that could be tonight. And then with the Ultra Vegeta and then, or the Kid Goku is next week and tonight is just Ultra Vegeta. And then a week after the Kid Goku is gonna be the step up. I'm not sure where they're gonna do the whole breakdown because we do have maintenance tonight with some summon and some uh, shop maintenance, but we'll have to see. I don't think the step up is gonna be happening anytime soon. That's what I think. Um, now, jumping into the kits that they were kind enough to share with us, they also provided some previews for what the, uh, what the character is able to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into that. なかなかいい腕前だった。So all of those characters looked really damn clean. There's a lot of like little tidbits that could be easily missed, um, but all in all, they look really clean. Um, can we give him a thanks for showing some love to that version of Trunks? Nice to see him here as well, because I think that one punch through the gut moment against Goku was easily one of his most cold moments for sure for trunks definitely a highlight for him now they provided us the breakdown for this character so starting with Bido, 
He is a support type. Purple as well. Applies the following effects to allies when this character is switched to standby. He will heal 10%, which is nice. Kind of like Great Saiyaman 1 and 2, the red unit. 20% to strike damage inflicted for 20 timer counts. And an additional 20% damage inflicted by the tag Hera Clan for 20 timer counts. Makes sense. Gotta have something exclusive to them. They're all a whole gang working together. Makes sense. With his main ability, draw a special arts card next. Restore own key by 50 and 30% to strike damage inflicted for 20 timer counts. Looks like a nice little main ability. For sure, this special arts card is going to be important for other members within the Hera clan. Somebody is going to benefit substantially with this. Odds are it's Bojack. Bojack, it looked like his green card is one of those combo ones, and who knows what kind of crazy benefits he's going to get from it. Now, moving on, I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Part of his passives, when this character enters the battlefield, restore key by 40 and reduce damage received by 20%. Activates two times, so I'm going to assume that is going to be the key restore, less so the reduced damage received. I'm not entirely sure, the wording is a little bit odd. On special arts hit, 30% to strike damage inflicted for 15 timer kills and randomly draw one new card. And when the special move arts hits, reduce enemy key by 70. Nice. Deliver strong strike attacks and strengthen allies when switching to standby. Pretty much an all-around character that you would like for support. Moving on to good old Bujin. Green support as well. While this character is on the battlefield, apply the following effects to the enemy when the enemy switches characters. Reduce key by 30. Inflict attribute downgrade minus one to arts card draw speed level for 15 timer counts. That's really strong. I think a lot of us are, have already acknowledged that removing the card draw speed level for a lot of characters that don't even have card draw speed is pretty detrimental. Uh, you kill off a Zamasu, the rest of the god key battle members make it very difficult for you to come back and deal with them, especially when you have a character like Vados healing them all up. You can barely hit them now, but reduce card draw speed, so when you get that opportunity to hit them, you're not going to be able to hit them a lot. On Special Arts Hit, seals one card slot randomly for 10 timer counts, so like Beerus when he shows up on the battlefield, and you have a 40% chance to inflict Paralysis, everyone's favorite mechanic. On Special Move Arts Hit, inflict enemy with attribute downgrade minus 100% to keep recovery. Hello? Hello, Whis? Fados? Is this, is this who this is? For 10 timer counts and 100% chance to inflict heavy bleed. So he's pretty much just meant to be a giant annoyance. Now, it applies the following effects when he uses his main ability. Draw a special arts card next and inflicts all enemies with no switching for 10 timer counts. A main ability with no switching. We haven't seen one of these in a long, long time. The last one was Bo um, a Bardock, but his was super restrictive because they know that lock-in main abilities are unbelievably powerful. I see a lot of people saying, hey, I want free to play Vegeta to get a Zenkai Awakening, but you guys are saying this without really comprehending what that means, because once he locks you in, they're just gonna bring someone else to kick the crap out of you, and then you're gonna be like, why did I wish for that? I made a mistake. And you're right, you did make a mistake. Inflict all enemies with the attribute downgrade, minus 100% to health restoration for 30 timer counts. That's cool. Uh, I'm sure we catch a lot of people off guard. Purple Super Saiyan 3, main ability, hit them with the ultimate, no healing at all. Pesky regen characters don't get a chance to heal anymore, so it's nice to, you know, finish those characters off. Plus 60% to blast damage inflicted for 30 timer counts, that's an absurd amount. And plus 60% chance to inflict paralysis upon landing a special arts hit for 30 timer counts. So basically, that translates to now 100% chance for paralysis, which equals 100% chance to cry. Now moving on to the next character, Zangya. Already had an extreme, but now there's another one. From Battlestar for 80 timer counts, plus 60% to damage inflicted, cannot be cancelled, with a reduction to blast arts cost, which also cannot be cancelled. She's a ranged character, so it makes sense. Uh, from the Battlestar for 60 timer counts, reduce damage received by 40, this is insane to me because extreme characters with these rather high reduced damage received passives, uh, they have low stats out the get-go, so I, I don't really understand why they do this kind of thing. I would much prefer if the extreme characters at least had the stats at lower stars, less so having these high reduced damage received passives, but it is what it is, I suppose. And she gets some card draw speed, which is cool. Only 60, uh, 60 timer counts, though, which can be tricky for an EX who already doesn't deal that much damage with the lower stats, but we'll have to see. Holy crap, it's a dictionary of a passive. When this character enters the battlefield, plus 40% to blast damage inflicted for 20 timer counts and increases her own card draw speed level by one for five timer counts. So it looks like she can temporarily get level two card draw speed. With her main ability, restore her own key by 50. Restore vantage gauge. 
by 70% and nullify enemy special actions that activate when changing cover. This is crazy to me that so many characters are now getting counter unique cover change mechanics. Because remember, I said this a long time ago, Gogeta Blue's value is going to be for sure the way that he just absolutely shuts down all the cover changes because the meta going forward is going to be on the technicality of units. I'm sure we all feel it now. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, UI Goku, Samasu, Faros being tricky. All these characters have some annoying way of shutting down your combo and the only way to counter them is to have characters that counter that and it looks like it's coming into fruition. Here they are. Even an EX character has that now. That's crazy to me. With their special arts, restore own key by 50 and 20% of blast damage inflicted for 10 timer counts and destroy all your own cards, randomly draw two new ones. That's pretty interesting. She has a rather strong kit, it looks like. She could be a crazy damage dealer. And then Goku, this is the most interesting one for me personally. He is transforming EX, which is the first of a kind, but after he transforms, 60% of damage inflicted against hybrid Saiyans and reduced damage received by 30% from Hybrid Sands, so uh, he's a blue EX with strong passives against Hybrid Sands. Sounds like Super Saiyan 2 Gohan may have a counter here, but it's not just that. When this character enters the battlefield, 40% to damage inflicted for 20 timer counts and reduces damage received by 30% for 20 timer counts and minus 5 to strike arts cost for 20 timer counts and <laughs> inflict all enemies with no switching if the enemy is a hybrid sand for five timer counts aka gokua will come in lock in lf super saiyan 2 gohan zenkai 7 and he's probably going to be the one to rising rush him especially with that super strong passive against them upon the transformation plus 40 percent to damage inflicted for 60 timer counts and 50 percent to key recovery so post transformation against hybrid sands he's doing 100 percent extra damage and taking i believe it was 30 percent less damage from them he is the anti hybrid sand character it looks like when defeated inflict all enemies with no switching for five timer counts and inflict enemy with attribute downgrade plus 30 percent to damage received for 15 timer counts we all know that zenkai 7 super saiyan 2 gohan just annihilates everything regardless of type so in the event that Goku gets absolutely one-shotted, which is super likely, the fact that he locks that Gohan in just means that you could sacrifice Goku to get his uh, Vanish out, and then the next character that comes in just Rising Rush the Gohan. That, it's almost as though that's what they settled it for. He seems to be a crazy counter to that character. Now, moving on, I believe there's one little extra bit for him. Yes, now we got Super Saiyan Trunks Teen. He's a green character. So Hybrid Saiyans needed a green and a purple, and it looks like that's what this guy, what these two new Hybrid Saiyans are supposed to be. When this character enters the battlefield, plus 80% to damage inflicted, which is rather high, and reduced damage received by 25% for tag, uh, for 15 timer counts. When this character is defeated, restore allied Hybrid Saiyan characters by 10% and plus 25% to damage inflicted by allied episode saga from the movies. Characters cannot be canceled. So supportive buffs while being an offensive character. Pretty interesting. So it looks like uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan has that perfect green character to help him out. When changing cover, reduces damage received by 20% until combo ends and inflict enemy with the attribute downgrade plus 10 to all arts cause for five, for five counts. After the enemy attack is over, if your remaining health is 75% or below, restore health by 15% and 30% of damage inflicted, which cannot be cancelled, and 40% to key recovery, and cancel enemy uh, attribute downgrades and abnormal conditions. Sorry, that's for yourself, not for, not for your enemy, not trying to benefit your enemy. So that kind of, remind, kind of reminds me of the purple Broly, so I don't know how that's going to work. We'll have to see. On special move arts activation, plus 20% to special move damage inflicted for three timer counts and gain a minus 50% to enemy sustained damage cut effect for three timer counts. Has blast armor. That's pretty damn nice. He's fitting that green slot for hybrid sands pretty good. I'm just curious as to what his Z ability is going to be. Both movies in hybrid sands and potentially additional extra if you're a hybrid sand from a movie. Now going to the leader, Bojack, he's red, powerful opponent. I'm kind of disappointed that he is a defense red. Um, I think powerful opponent would have benefited greatly if he was a different type, just to be, you know, Zamasu's uh, helpful, supportive guy. So if Zamasu's ever in trouble, you have another character to help him out. Uh, I would have preferred if he was maybe green, but I mean, they got so many new characters coming out at once, it's understandable. So after he transforms, yes, Bojack is a transforming character. We saw all his clothes just annihilate. Uh, shorten allies, substitution counts. 
Shorten ally substitution counts by five when enemy activates Rising Rush while this character is on the battlefield. When this character enters the battlefield, plus five to enemy strike and blast arts cost for 10 timer counts. Okay, pretty good. Um, so he nicely borrowed this from good old Rage Trunks. And this is a nice little, nice little, you know, have some additional costs here because some of the powerful opponent characters make you lose five keys so with this bojack and the zamasu and the green goku black having those characters uh lose key as well it's almost like they're just shaving away at what your uh key stores are looking at now moving on he also has some nice little abilities so after he transforms when changing cover reduce damage received by 30 percent until enemy combo ends and inflict all enemies with three sub counts Plus 40% to damage inflicted for 15 timer counts after enemy attack is over. On special move arts hit, randomly destroy three cards. Nice little crippling passive right there. I mean move. His Z ability is going to be double defenses for a powerful opponent or sagas from the movies and increases blast attack for characters that are powerful opponent and saga from the uh, from the movies. So this is nice for our good friend Broly. That's awesome. I think there's a little bit more for Bojack. Oh, no, it's not. Now it's for the uh, the super hype character, Legends Limited Super Saiyan Gohan. He is a purple. So hybrid Saiyans needed a new purple. The Zenkai one is a little bit power crep, so this is interesting. With a revive mechanic, Toshi, I know you said you like this Gohan, but Jesus Christ, dude, this is insane. He revives with 70% health when it reaches to zero. So the super offensive hybrid Saiyan team that slaughters everybody now has a revival character if you are going for a rising rush. When he transforms, 60% of damage inflicted, minus 5 to both strike and blast arts, nullifies of normal conditions, and minus 25% to enemy sustained damage cut effects. All of these cannot be removed, so Gohan does not care about your tanky characters. He's going to kick the crap out of all of them. Now, his passive is stupid to me. 20% extra damage inflicted against powerful opponent. Randomly draw one new card should you have three or fewer when you show up on the battlefield randomly card randomly draw a new card Okay, whatever, um, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. I suppose but if any allies have been defeated Randomly draw up to two new cards instead So not one but two every time you show up well every time this character uses an arts card Plus 25% to damage inflicted for 15 timer counts and restore key by 15, which happens three times. Activation counts reset when the character switches. So if a character has been defeated, you will randomly draw up to two new cards instead every time you use a card. So I'm pretty damn sure, should I be interpreting this correctly, this is Vegito Blue's strike translates to another strike card. Instead, it's two random cards cards and you restore key by 15 that's insane um you could get a little bit unlucky if you have low key and you draw a blue card but the restore key by 15 pretty make it pretty much mitigates the opportunity for that to happen with his main ability restore his own key by 70 gives yourself card draw speed level one for 30 time accounts destroy all your own cards and draws a special move arts card next increases the damage of the next special move card used based on the number of cards destroyed just like Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the green one. If you, I would assume if you destroy up to three cards, you're going to be doing 100% extra damage. The Z ability is Strike, Attack, and Defense for Movie Saga or Hybrid Saiyan or Sun Family. He buffs Sun Family. Oh my god, this character. What is this? This guy is dumb. He's absolutely insane character. This Gohan is nuts. Now, I'm pretty sure that covers everything. There are some returning events. Um, so for the newer players, you got some nice little extra stuff that you could be doing here. I actually need to finish this. I haven't finished uh, Nap Young Nappa because I didn't have any uh, skip tickets left. Um, and then I think that pretty much wraps up everything here. I just want to make sure. Yeah, I think that's everything. So it looks like the second part of the anniversary is shaping up to being quite nice. We got our hands on. We have two more raids, a new story event, a new free to play ultra character to work through. We got the guild battle. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure there's more that they haven't mentioned uh, for the sake of time, because this was already 40 minutes. There's no way they want this to stretch over to an hour plus or whatever. So we'll have to see what they're bringing. But I'm looking forward to the characters. I think it's well designed and all that other stuff. Kind of curious as to why they went back to the 
BoJack movie, considering that there's so many other movies they could have done, but I'm not going to fault them for it, because everybody really likes that Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. I'm terrified of his green card, because this is PTSD for all the veteran players that had to live through that dreadful movie saga meta, where Gohan kicked the crap out of everybody. Thankfully, there's no lock-in this time, but we'll have to see. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching the whole way through. Um, it is rather long, but I wanted to go through everything here. I said I'd be quick, but I'm not quick at all. <laughs> uh, so don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, uh, show some love on the channel, support your boy. I appreciate it greatly. And uh, we'll have to see what they're going to be releasing tonight. I'm looking forward to the true proper breakdown of everything that they do. Be on the lookout for that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.